Hi guys, I believe everybody of you is doing great, nice and absolutely fine. And uh, this video, in this particular video, we will be basically addressing an issue which is controversial right now. Okay. Since uh, we educators, we are close to you guys. Okay. We are close to the students. That's the reason we are getting texts right now from different number of students who are uh, living in different, different states. They are contacting us, sir. I'm facing this problem. I'm facing that problem. Okay. Now here we will be talking about those four controversial questions which came in your neat day before yesterday. Okay. And when it comes to the four questions, they basically make 16 marks and 16 marks can create a huge difference when it comes to your neat examination. Let's suppose if there is a student, he is getting six, 610 marks and the cutoff is 622 or 620. So if he is losing these 16 marks means he is not able to enter the medical college. He will not enter. It is only because of the NTA's fault. Okay. It is not his personal fault. It is not somebody else's fault. It is NTA's fault. That becomes the reason he will not be able to enter the medical college. He will have to basically either move on or to take a drop. Okay. And that's the reason I was saying in the yesterday's video also, there are some students who say, sir, how am I going to, how, how am I supposed to face my parents on the result day? What should I say to them? Even I got a text from one of the students asking, sir, you have said this topic is deleted from the, your need syllabus. But the question came from this topic. I was speechless over there. Okay. I couldn't reply to that text. That's the reason we are putting up the, so maybe some, some might have basically commented in the videos out there. So that's the reason we are coming over here, addressing these issues, sharing this video, or maybe these videos will reach the NTA so that they can come up with some conclusions so that they can help the students in any way. Okay. Because they are the authority. We are not the authority. We can just, uh, basically raise our voices. We can just uh, send our videos to them so that they can come up with some conclusion. So the first controversial question, let me talk about, see, I got to know that in biology, there were two controversial questions, which I am not sure about. Okay. Biology educators may basically address these, but when it comes to the physics, there were highly, I would say controversial two questions were there. Okay. In the physics, because I have done the physics analysis and being a physics educator, I'm telling you about this. The first question, if I'm talking about was, we say that uh, statement based question statement one, one statement one was, uh, atom is electrically, uh, neutral, uh, uh, number of positive charges is equal to number of negative charge. This was the statement one and statement two was, uh, all atoms of each element are stable. Okay. So we say, according to the old NCRT, the statement one and statement two are correct, but we say some elements are highly radioactive. So according to that, we do not put those elements into the stable category. So according to this, we say statement two is wrong. Now students are confused. Even a lot of students out there, my students who were, who used to be the toppers in the mock test, they have asked the same thing, sir, which option I am supposed to mark over here. Shall I go with the old NCRT? Shall I go with the new NCRT? I'm confused, sir, over here. And most importantly, previously NTA has clearly given us the guidelines that follow the new NCRT. They have posted the syllabus on their official website. So follow the new NCRT. Don't follow the old NCRT, leave that NCRT. And that's the reason we educators keep on making every single time that, uh, this is your new syllabus. This syllabus is reduced. That is deleted. Potentiometer is deleted. Radioactivity is deleted. You know, I got a text from one of the students, sir. Question was asked. The second controversial question that I'm talking about that was from radioactivity. He said, sir, in that video, you clearly said, don't read potentiometer. Don't go with this the radioactivity. Why they have asked the question from if, if, if you would have told me, uh, back in time, I would have studied this particular topic also because of you, I lost four marks. I was speechless over there. I couldn't reply to that text. So I think this is completely the NTA's fault. That's the reason we are addressing this. They should come up with the conclusion. Okay. They should come up with the conclusion over here. So, uh, thank you so much guys. Uh, I, uh, that's the reason I, uh, made this particular video over here to address this particular issue. Maybe we'll, uh, get some help from, uh, different authorities out there 
who are watching these videos and you can whatever the problems basically you are facing right now you can put up in the comments down below so that we can address those problems also so that we can share it uh, share with uh, the other authorities uh, maybe they'll come up with some conclusion and most importantly my dear friends there is a and and uh, one more important thing we are basically the most important thing is uh, we are asking for the bonus okay that is i say the simple conclusion that we are asking for as of now so when it comes to the 16 mark when it comes to the four questions means 16 marks so they should completely give the bonus to all the students maybe because of this score some students out there they they would be able to enter the medical college and secondly i just want to tell you that at 7 p.m., there is an important live session coming up onto this particular channel, which will be taken by the Vaseem sir, okay? And we all will be in that particular session. Whatever the problems you are facing, we will be addressing those, okay? Whatever the issues you guys have, we'll be addressing those, okay? Maybe you will get some sort of help by these videos, okay? In that live session also, you can put up the question and we'll be addressing those. So don't forget to join that live session which is at 7 p.m. on this particular channel and do share this video with your friends out there and whatever the problems you have, do put up in the comments down below. Definitely we'll get the help. That's all what we can do, okay? Thank you so much, guys. Take care and bye-bye. Don't get depressed at all right now, okay? Uh, don't have anxiety. I know this is a phase which is toughest phase for different number of students out there but don't worry about it okay chill scenes everything will be sorted take care and bye-bye